You know, hauling 30,000 pounds of trailer and snowcat can be a daunting experience, but you know what's more daunting? Stopping that same load. And GM is working on a new technology that they're hoping will actually help you bring this truck to a stop in the same distance that you could bring this truck to a stop without the trailer. Let me talk to one of the chief engineers over at GM and explain. We have a lot of capability, but when there's that much pound, it, it equals long stopping distance. We know that in the industry, and, and we set a goal for ourselves, let's, let's have a combined truck and trailer stopping distance equal the same amount that a truck would stop uh, without a trailer. That's crazy. Yeah, so basically you're saying you want to be able to stop that truck in the same amount of space with a trailer or without a trailer. That's right. And so yep. how did you go about doing that? So we started, well, we started with a smaller trailer, a more something that fits more the volume sure. of what people Yeah, tell. not a lot of people are telling that. Not, right. not yeah. that. So we started with a conventional dual axle 9,000 pound trailer. Yep. And, and uh, we put uh, the a disc hydraulic, electric hydraulic disc brakes on the trailer. And you can get that. It's a standard feature, upfitted feature for the trailering industry. Because most trailers have di not disc brakes, but drum brakes. That's right. Yeah. So that's, a, that's already a better braking system for the trailer, but it still has a long stopping distance. So then we took our EBU system, our known GM EBU system, and we put it onto the trailer. And we put wheel speed sensors, and then we, we wrote the software to control the trailering axle and the brakes like we do on our vehicle. And when you do that, we can reduce that stopping distance within, we're finding with our testing, about three feet from where a truck would stop without a trailer. So this is a black box, right? With a bunch of software in it that basically does ABS for the trailer, is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah? And so that reduces your stopping distance. Uh, now, is this something that you're gonna try to make available through GM products, or is this something that has to be installed onto the trailer itself? So it has to be installed by guys like Big Techs. I, th I think that's the, the commercial part of this yeah. isn't figured out yet. We're looking for a partner, yeah. but it'll. It, uh, it, I think it'll be more like that, whether it's an axle partner or a trailer partner, and, and it'll be installed on the trailer. And then this is exciting because it, it's bigger than GM, right? I mean, this is really about how do you make the industry, the trailer industry that just continues to grow, how do you make it safer? So this is bigger than GM. How do you how do you do that? And we said, you know, let's do a black box type thing. Let's let's develop the technology that will reduce the stopping distance, and that can work for everybody. Obviously, disc brakes on a trailer aren't cheap, and ABS on a trailer is not all that new. Now, GM, of course, is combining those two things with better tires to try to give you a better stopping distance. But really, it's not up to the truck manufacturer. This is more up to the trailer manufacturer. So. Will this technology become commonplace? Here's an old journalism cliche, time will tell. And having been doing this now for 10 years, the trailering industry is a bit of a wild west. So we'll see, because usually these trailers are much more about how much they cost than how quickly they stop. In a perfect world, you would order that trailer and they would have a black box on it with hopefully disc brakes and maybe even better tires, right? Because yep. a lot of the tires are kind of... Yep. Yep, it would be a package and uh, yeah, we'd have that available for the customer. Yeah. It would be our hardware, it'd be our software, and, uh, and it would provide the performance that you know, would really take, uh, take a lot of the anxiety out of trailering for people and really make it safe. So we're starting with that 9,000 pound trailer, yeah. dual axle, but that technology and that, that kind of strategy can be expanded and fit for really all trailers. It just depends on you know how big the modules are, do you need multiple modules and, and, and whatnot. Let's but. talk about axles, does that work on a, obviously this is a two axle, but would that work on a one axle or three axle sure. trailer? Yeah. Sure, it, do, it doesn't, that yeah, I mean. doesn't restrict any of the technology. What do you think is the hardest obstacle to adoption? Getting like big techs to sign on. Yeah, this? I think I think it's the commercial end at yeah. this point. So it's just really getting a partnership to to to, to be able to introduce that into the market because there's costs associated with yeah. it, right? Have you, so, have you done any kind of cost analysis yet? Uh, I suspect that's out yeah. there, but I don't have that information. Okay. So it's going to add. I mean, you know, it's disc brakes are going to be expensive. Yep. The technology, the black box, right? Yep. The, the the control unit for it. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's going to make it, that trailer it, more expensive. It will add cost. Yep. So that's that's a little bit of the hurdle, but I think when the public becomes aware of this and it's available, I think a lot of people would be interested to pay the amount that it would cost to get you that level of safety and stopping distance improvement. Well, that's cool. I appreciate you taking the time and explaining it to us. Uh, and I got to ask you, what's it like uh, hauling that uh, 
snowcat behind uh, the dually. It's you know, it's not bad. Like yeah. I t like I was telling the other group when I pulled up. Yeah. It's amazing to me how well it handles and it and it accelerates and and stops in this case. Um, it pulls that rig without breaking a sweat. So it, it's awesome that the the purposely built, capable GMC trucks are, are yeah, just outstanding. And, and that's really not even like the max towing package, right? And that's you got, correct. You've got the crew cab, you've got the four wheel drive. That's so, correct. That's a know, very you, luxury vehicle yeah. and we're still pulling 30,000 yeah. pounds. So that's you're, pretty cool. You're not maxing out payload. You still have a little right. bit of space left. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more news views. And of course, the newest in trailer tech reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.